Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome in a new lesson of our Islamic studies. Now we have a certain activity. Look to this picture and try to answer these questions. What are these children doing? When should we read the Quran? Why should we read the Quran? Yeah, those children are reading and memorizing Quran. And they are reading and memorizing Quran in a Quran center with the help of Sheikh of a mosque in UAE and they are reading and memorizing Quran for its great benefits and reward of Allah glory be to him do you know the benefits and reward of memorizing Quran and teaching it to others follow our lesson you will learn more about Quran and about the benefits of learning and memorizing Quran. Let's start. Our lesson today about the best amongst you is the one who learns Quran and teaches it. This is our lesson hadith An Uthman bin Affan radiallahu an Qal Qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Khayrukum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa allama Rawahu al-Bukhari Uthman bin Affan May Allah be pleased with him Reported that Allah's messenger Peace be upon him said the best amongst you is the one who learns Quran and teaches it. Narrated by Al Bukhari. So the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. After this hadith, you can tell me what the benefit or reward for the one who learn and teach Quran from hadith only. Yeah, 
if you learn and teach Quran, you will be from the best Muslims to Allah, glory be to Him. And do you know what does it mean to be from the best people to Allah? This means Allah will love you more, protect you, and enter you Jannah in the day of judgment, inshallah. Anybody knows another benefits for memorizing Quran and teaching it? Yeah, you will get good deeds. Allah will give you hasanat for each letter, ten hasanat. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in another hadith. اقرأ القرآن لا أقول ألف لام ميم حرف ولكن ألف حرف ولام حرف وميم حرف والحسنة بعشرة أمثالها والله يضاعف لمن يشاء صدق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم هذا الحديث بمعناه The meaning of this hadith the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said that read Quran more because the one who read Quran Allah will give him for each letter ten hasanat, ten good deeds. So if you read Alif Lam Mim, this is word that contain of three letters alif lam and mim allah will not count you the good deeds for the all word but he will give you for each letter ten hasanat so alif if you see alif you will get ten hasanat you lam another ten hasanat meme another ten hasanat sorry meme you will get ten hasanat so if you read only and recite only alif lam meme these three letters you will get how many hasanat you can count yeah ten multiply three will be 30 hasanat look how many hasanat Allah will give you if you recite only Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim I have here a challenge question can you count to me now how many hasanat you will get if you recite only Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim you can count the letters, all the whole letters of this sentence and multiply in 10 and you will get the numbers of Hasanat. After that we can count the Hasanat Allah will give to you if you recite Surah Al-Fatiha and Surah Al-Ikhlas after that. Number three, Allah will forgive your sins if you read and teach Quran. Number four, Allah will protect you and your family and your house from any evils, shaitan, jinn, and witchcrafts. And do you remember when did we learn this before? In which lessons? Yeah. Think. Remember. Yeah, in the previous lessons about Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas, if we memorize these two surahs, Allah will protect us from darkness, shaitan, jinn and jinn, and witchcrafts and invers. And also we learned before that we should recite these two surahs before we sleep. I have here another challenge question or searching question. Search on internet. 
and tell me next class about more benefits for learning and memorizing and teaching Quran. This link with Quran, Allah glory be to him, say in this verse. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر صدق الله العظيم This means we have certainly made the Quran easy to remember so is there anyone who will be mindful and this verse means Allah glory be to him made it easy for us to learn the Quran and memorize it. Also, it is in an Arabic language, which is a foreign language for us. Allah has granted us ease in learning and memorizing it for those people who are have the desire and the determination to learn it. With the advancement in technology, learning Quran has become much easier and we have access to learning the Quran from the comfort of our homes. This an activity Identify the methods of learning Quran with the help of these pictures. Look to these pictures and try to extract the methods that help us to memorize Quran. The first picture. Yeah. I can memorize Quran through the help of my parents, dad and mom. Also, with my big brother or sister or uncle or aunt or anyone of my relatives. Yeah. The second picture. Yeah. I can learn Quran through Quran Center. Do you know any names of Quran Centers that are spread in the UAE? Yeah, there are more Quran Centers in UAE like Hamil Al Ghai Center. Abu Bakr Siddiq Center and Abu Dhabi Center for memorizing Quran. Do you join it before or you are joining now one of these centers to memorize Quran? If you are, it will be a wonderful thing to you. If not, try to join one of these centers. May Allah help and protect you. The third picture. Yeah, I can memorize Quran through internet, especially through YouTube channel or website. And in this matter, I'd like to inform you that I am already have a YouTube channel. It's named Abu Iyad channel for teaching Islamic studies and also for learning Quran. So you can join and subscribe for my channel and you can follow my lessons. And also I have my own website under title Al Alm City. But this I still learn in it. I still work to develop and uh, uh, provide the data for my website. When it finished, I will let the others to join and register so they can follow my website. 
and learn a wonderful thing is about Islam and about subjects and about the all different things in our life. The fourth kitchen. Yeah. I can learn Quran through this Quran bin reader. This bin can read Quran when you put the pen in any verse, he can read it. And in this pen, you can identify the sheikh that you need to listen and memorize Quran through him. Like Sheikh Abdul Basit Abdul Samad, Sheikh Muhammad Siddiq Al Minshawi, Sheikh Mishari Al Afasi, Sheikh Al Sudesi, and more sheikhs that they are learning Quran and have a wonderful uh, voice for reading and reciting Quran. So if you love your Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and you need to follow his example, you should read and memorize Quran and teach it for others. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, will love you more. And he will ask Allah to forgive your sins and enter your Jannah the day of judgment, inshallah. We call it Shafa'a. He, was, he will ask Allah to forgive your sins and enter you Jannah. Now we reach to the end of our lesson and this are learning objectives for our lesson. So you can answer now what you learned from this lesson. You have exit card, you can write what you learned. After that, these was our learning objectives for our lesson. We learned about reading hadith correctly, explaining the overall meaning of this hadith, and clarify the benefits of learning, reading, memorizing, and teaching Kori Quran, and the methods of learning Quran, and how I can contribute to help others 
in memorizing the Holy Quran. So, if you need more clarification, you can rewatch this video again, or you can ask me, or you can write comment down. Thank you so much. And in the end of our lesson, we should, or in meeting, we should say this dua. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. See you in a new lesson, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.